Uzbekistan-American daughter to superstar Sumil Sumayal Hossein, the youngest player to ever win the international TI bag in 2015 when he was just 16 years old, will be missing out on TI 2023 this October after Team Astel bombed out of the Chinese regional qualifiers on Sunday, August 20. Astel were one of the biggest favorites to qualify for TI 2023 out of China, thanks in large part to Sumayel's continued excellence from the mid lane role. Astel had a good start to their campaign. Sweeping division, two squad team zero in their first match of the qualifiers double elimination bracket to advance to the upper bracket semi-finals. Astel's next match was against Extreme Gaming. Another big contender in the Chinese qualifiers. However, Asta ended up losing that series 2 to 1 and were dropped to the lower bracket quarterfinals as a result. Sumayel and Asta still had a chance to bounce back and contend for a spot in TI 2023 if they could defeat their next opponent. Team Bright, a squad that started the 2023 Dote Pro Circuit DPC season in Division 2. Despite being the heavy favorites against their lower rank opponents, Asta fell to Bright in a 2 to 1 upset to get knocked out of contention for a spot at TI 2023. Sumayal still put up a commendable performance despite Asta's loss to Bright and average 8.3 kills and 12 assists on 4 deaths throughout the series, including a masterful 13 kill. 22 assist performance on his signature Storm Spirit in his team's lone win. In a post on his personal Twitter account following the loss, Sumayal bemoaned the fact that he will be missing out on Dota 2's World Championship Tournament for the second straight year. Sumayal has long been considered as one of the best players in the history of Dota 2. He burst into the scene in 2015 as the prodigy mid laner for Evil Geniuses EG, leading the team to championship of TI5 and becoming the youngest player to ever claim the ages of champions at just 16 years and 176 days old. Sumayel would go on to help EG earn top 3 finishes at TI6 and TI8 before leaving the team at the end of 2019. He had a short stint with Quincy Crew before moving to Western Europe to join OG in January 2020. While Sumayel left the team in July of that year and became a stand-in for Team Liquid from April to June 2021, he would rejoin OG for the qualifiers of TI-10 and lead them to a spot in that year's World Championship Tournament. Sumayel and OG only managed a top 8 finish at TI-10, having been swept out of the tournament by eventual champions Team Spirit, with the mid laner leaving the team in November to join Team Secret. Sumayel's time with Secret did not produce successful results, leading to his departure in May 2022. The mid laner later joined Nigma Galaxy, where he would have another unsuccessful year that ended with him missing out on his first ever TI after the team bombed out of the Western European qualifiers for TI 2022. While Sumayel would play a majority of the 2023 DPC season with Nigma Galaxy, he ended up moving to China for the last leg of the season after being loaned to Asta in May. As a member of Asta, Sumayel helped the team finish in the top 8 of the Berlin Major, 3rd in the DPC Summer Tour Regional League for China, and 9th to 12th in the Bali Major. He also helped the team finish in the top 8 of third party tournaments Dream League Season 20 and Riot Masters 2023. It is unclear if Sumayel will remain with Asta for the next DPC season as his contract with the team is widely believed to only last until the conclusion of TI 2023. Similar to Sumayal, Asta has also been on a downward spiral this season. Things look promising for the squad after they finish fourth in TI 2022. However, their search was ground to a halt after star mid laners and Ori Jerion suddenly retired last November. 
Asta sign rupee jai xwy jinkai to replace Ori, but the new Mitlenu could not replicate the success of his predecessor. This eventually led to the team choosing to loan Sumayel from Nigma Galaxy. A move that many expected would revitalize the struggling squad. But while Sumayel was the bright spot the team needed, other issues within Asta contributed to the team's eventual collapse in the TI 2023 qualifiers. In early July, Asta parted ways with longtime support player Yi Boboko Jibiao, who had been with the team since 2018. Boboka's departure came as a result of a rift between him and the rest of the team's Chinese players. Asta replaced Bobokao with another veteran in Hukoka Leongji for TI 2023's Chinese regional qualifiers, though the team was unable to gel in time to earn a spot in this year's World Championship tournament. TI 2023's regional qualifiers will run until August 31st, with the competition being split into three five-day phases, where two regions will compete in each phase. The qualifiers for North America and China kick off the competition and will both conclude on August 21. The qualifiers for South America and Eastern Europe will follow from 22 to August 26, while Western Europe and Southeast Asia will close things out from 27 to August 31. TI 2023 will be hosted across multiple weekends from 12 to October 29 in Seattle, the United States. This year's tournament also features a revamped format split into two distinct phases, called the Road to the International and the International itself, 